Uh, hey everyone and welcome to this how-to video on create a document using the Documents Core Pack Connector for Power Apps. Uh, my name is Michael and in this video I will show you I guess the most important action of our connector uh, to be used inside Flow uh, which allows you to create a document but also talk a little bit about, about how to work with the document once it's generated. Uh, all of this is available with our new connector for Power Apps. Uh, the idea of this connector is to really make it easy for our customers to utilize the features of Documents Corpac inside Power Apps or Microsoft Flow. So we extended uh, our capabilities to be called from, a, con from uh, a connector and created this new connector that's equipped with several actions that you can define and, and execute. Uh, what are those actions? Uh, the most important one is, of course, creating a document, but it also comes with a ton of different other options, um, like save a file to SharePoint, print a document that has been generated, attach to an email inside the common data service and also send the email, makes that process very easy, or, or attaches a note. A lot of different options, but the one I will focus on today is creating a document. How does such an action look like? Um, an action always has some input parameters and provides some output parameters. Input parameters in that case are three. The first one, um, what document do you want to generate? So you have to select a template that has been defined with the Microsoft Word-based template designer before. Number two, what record do you want to load data from? So you have to specify the record data should be pulled from into the document. And last but not least, you have to specify the file type, like the output format. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, once this step succeeded, you will have a bunch of output parameters. The most important ones are the file name and even more important, the document itself. Um, the document is delivered in a so-called base64 format. Um, all of you who worked with Flow will know that. So basically this enables you to use or to do whatever you want to do with the document. Um, you can convert it back to an actual file using a base64 to binary. You can upload it to SharePoint, Dropbox, attach it to an email and things of that nature. So I'll also show you a little bit into that direction. How does it work? Uh, let's jump to my uh, demo room. I've got a flow kind of pre-built a little bit, a uh, very simple one. The goal of this flow is to um, create a document, create a new annotation uh, of a quote once the quote becomes active. So my trigger is an update of the quote inside my organization. Uh, my, my, my instance, and it only is triggered if the state code changes. And I'm only doing my actions if the state code becomes one, which means the quote became active. Once that is done, we want to send an email off, but also create the annotation. So what I need to do uh, to use Documents Corpac is I hit add an action. And I have to select Documents Corpac. So I see my new Documents Corpac connector and all the actions it provides, things like attach file as a note, attach file to an email. But in our demo, I will use create document job synchronously. So I'm selecting that one and need to specify three things. What document do I want to use? When I drop down that list, I can see all the templates that have been defined, designed in Word and uploaded to the system before. So in my case, I'm choosing a the quote template. The quote that should be passed to this document is actually the one defined by the trigger, right? So uh, the quote that got updated and just became active. So from that uh, step, I can get the unique identifier of the quote. So I always need to pass the so-called GUID or entity ID. So I'm passing that. And I want a PDF file. And that's it, all I need to do. Uh, once that step is hit, it will now go ahead and create a new document in a PDF file for that quote. Let me move that up a little bit. Okay, now I wanna do two things with this. Uh, with the generate document, I want to create a note and I want to send it as an email. So I'm doing uh, a plus here. I'm adding an action. And again, I'm using my documents core pack connector. But this time I'm choosing uh, attach file as note. A couple of parameters I can fill. Uh, first of all, I need to provide the document that should be attached as a note. And the nice thing is, what I need is actually the output of that create document job, right? So when I go to dynamic content for that create document job, 
I can see I get the document as Base64 encoded or in Base64 format. So that's what I need here. For the file name, I'm choosing file name. And I need to specify the entity the annotation should be stored to. So in my case, this should be the quote. I want to attach it to the quote. I could also do potential customer, right? And things like that. But sticking with the quote, and therefore I'm used choosing or well, defining it's a quote record I want to attach this to, and this is the quote it should be attached to. I can give it a nice description, like generated by Michael's little flow. And the subject, I'm just sticking with the file name successfully generated. There we go. That's it. So this will now attach the file as a node to my dynamics record. Um, now, I guess and that's also one very important thing you need to learn. Uh, Flow allows to use many, many connectors, right? You can do the SharePoint, the SureBlob, SAP, Salesforce. I think there are 300 of them that you can use. Um, and some of them, of course, you need to do something with a document, right? Like for emails, you typically want to attach it. So for detachment name, um, very simple. What I need here is again, from my create document job, I'm choosing the file name of the, of the job. And the content, you would think that you can just use the document in Base64 format. Uh, most connectors though require the document to be converted back to the actual file. So what you need to do for a lot of them is go to expression and use the base64 to binary expression like this and then pass the document base64 as a parameter to that that one hitting okay so this is it depends on what connector you're using but this is uh, the the expression that you need quite often that's it. Our flow is done. I'm hitting save, waiting for that one to be saved. Just takes a few moments. And then, uh, because I'm lazy, I can just activate a quote. But what I will do is, oh great, my battery dies. I need to be fast. Um, I'm, I'm using a test, so I'm just hitting test of a previous action that already succeeded. So let's do that. It's now loading up, my flow is running. So, uh, and a quote just got updated. And we can see it's now creating a document that's already done. And we should also see that the other two actions are successful in a second. So it took 10 seconds to create a document, uh, create a new notation and then send an email. So let's take a look. Uh, we are back to dynamics, so this is the quote. I will have to refresh in here. Let's wait for that one to come up. And what we should see here is, go to details. This is where my notes sit. It's now 1.41, 1.41 1.41pm. We've got the note generated by Michael's little flow uh, with a document attached. There we go. 288 in cooperation with the quote details. In addition, I should have received an email. There we go. Again, 141. Email from myself, quote attached. And when we click on that, we can see, yep, that's the quote we just generated. Again, sent by the flow. So bottom line, um, creating a document, very simple. And we also tried to make it very simple to use the document afterwards with some actions provided by our connector especially when it targets the common data service, like create notes, create emails inside CDS, save to SharePoint, print, but also to use all the other connectors. And with that being said, I want to thank you. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to our support group. You will find information on our blog, but you can also contact me. Uh, I'm happy to help out uh, in that aspect. I uh, hope this was helpful and looking forward to see you in one of our upcoming videos. Have a great day. Bye-bye.